Okay, here's uh, the, basically the, the software that only software you get. It's uh, similar to the format that the pre predecessor used. It was all uh, uh, disk based, so it, was, it took up a lot of resources and uh, it was much more involved than this. Um, it also was running down in the tray down down here. So uh, printer actions, basically, you look at the print queue. See if there's any documents at the print queue. You customize your printer. You go to the uh, print properties of the of the printer where you can um, set your printing preferences. Happens. So basically, you click these links down here. Scan a document or photo. Save as a PDF, JPEG, email as a email. Save as editable text. Everyday scan. Um, not so sure what everyday scan is, but. These are all shortcuts, and you can create new ones. So if you wanted your email as JPEG uh, resolution to always be 100, you can save that setting. And uh, I'm not going to do that so that you don't have to do all this dropping down every time. So that's pretty easy. Activate scan to computer. This runs a little, it's, it's pulling it down from the web and it runs a little applet. Let's go to the control panel of, of the uh, Office Jet 6500A. This PC will show up on a menu of a scan to workstation. Okay, we saw the fact that it was already. Uh, this is how you manage the fax settings, see your current ink levels. Again, we got from the web. This is the first time we're looking at it, so it might take a little bit longer. First time. Showing the ink levels, pretty good shape. Um, help goes to online sources, shopping online sources. I believe this is a uh, all web-based sources, just basically links. All right, Market Splash allows you to create cars, logos, newsletters, fly. Right. And privacy things we don't need to know about. This HP, this print center is to set up the e-print. And it's showing me that I had a failure last night. It's cheating this trick. It doesn't tell me why it failed. If you want to scan, to keep, keep scanning to PC from the control panel of the device. So I'm going to, I'm going to turn that on. And then we'll see what it installed. They had installed the IRIS OCR registration. Connect a new printer help. This is the this program that we looked a few minutes ago. See the downloading files from the internet.
Okay, we saw that. Uh, shop for supplies, product web support website. Uh, this HP scam, which is this. Nobody saw that. Okay, finally. Embedded web server gives you a lot of things right here on the front page status, ink levels, access to the wizards, manage some settings, scan tutor, wireless network status. So basically we have the ability to scan from the from the device and actually just fire it up now. Uh, I have nothing on the plan at this point, so we're just gonna go you can, you can uh, save it picture as anywhere you want. JPEG bitmap. It's nice, you don't need to have any software installed or any software running to do this. Uh, it gives you quite a bit of information for a device of this range. Um, black and white color, single, double-sided, jams, misfeeds from the tray, scans, misfeeds in the document feeder, total copies, total faxes. This is a lot of information for a uh, printer of a uh, $149 printer. Uh, not, certainly helps keep an eye on uh, your usage. High quality toolbox. These are all the standard uh, utilities that you've seen on anything, any other inkjet uh, printer you ever, ever used. And lets you uh, check all the stuff. That lets you change languages, energy save options. It lets you opt out of this. Cartridge chip info uh, enables installed cartridges to collect anonymous information about the usage. Basically, that's that is a web server. So that's it. It's uh, not a lot of software and it runs quick. I'm pretty happy with it. It's much more efficient than the software in the previous version of the um, Office Gen 6500, just called the plain wireless. This one's the 6500A+. Thanks for watching.